Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading August 13 to August 19, 2018. So this is going to be a four card tarot reading and after we are done with that and we are going to do as well a Lenormand reading for Sagittarius for the week. <clears throat> So the first position of the tarot spread here uh, represents the topic for Sagittarius for the week. The second card will represent the core of the situation or why is the topic, you know. Uh, afterwards, uh, that will be the challenges Sagittarius to overcome for the duration of the week. And the last card resembles the guidance that Sagittarius it is advisable to adopt for the week. All right, so let's see what you got. Uh, the first card, that will be, huh, the moon card. That is very strange. Usually the moon card does not come up as a topic. Now, the moon card is very conditional one. But when it comes to a topic, it means that you are going to feel insecure. Now, that insecurity could be very broad. Now, the week is going to be linked to an insecurity, but this insecurity could be uh, regarding you uh, improving yourself in a certain way. Let me give you an example here, guys. Let's say that you do have a, a very steady job, you know, and uh, you are quite good at what you are doing, you know, the, uh, the company that you're working at is praising you, and there is no chance that they are getting rid of you. But um, you that week you could find a another job which is well uh, more uh, a better paid one, uh, but however you don't know how the things are gonna turn out there. So this could be you uh, opting, you know, the the variation uh, the variations of how you sustain yourself if you go into the new job. You know, in general that could be an insecurity in a sense of a, a move that you want to do but you don't necessarily have to do. All right. So the moon card resembles a, a fantasies. It resembles, you know, um, opinions which may not be, uh, which may not be necessarily true. In general, it represents, you know, imagination or what you think it may happen you know, uh, in its uh, in its all variations. And because you don't know uh, that's the situation that you stand in front, it is not exactly secure, so cannot be predicted because the moon card is the curse of the tarot readers. Uh, for example, if you ask a question and the moon card comes up, it means that the answer cannot be given. All right, it, it, it generally says no. The answer, uh, it is not meant for you to know the answer. So uh, that's why for the duration of the week, if you are feeling a little bit of a limbo and you're indecisive, you don't know what to do, you know, how to approach the situation, that is totally normal. Now, uh, the, the reason for that is because something is cooking in the exterior and it is not meant for you, but it is, um, the whole situ situation depends on it. And because you don't know what that, um, you know, uh, what that condition is, that may uh, make you think the worst for the situation and um, in reality the situation could develop quite well. So my point here is that you may, uh, you may be confused on how, what the future holds for you but don't, um, don't allow to feel yourself despondent about it because that is definitely something you have to experience as that path here in the card. It is meant for you. It goes beyond the summit. You cannot see what is the final destination, but it's definitely something you need to experience. Now, the core of the situation here is, oh yeah, that will be, now that makes so much more sense. We do have the lover's card. So you will stand in front of choice, all right? And you will feel insecure or a rather, um, ambivalent about the choosing because it's going to refer to what you want to against what you have to. All right. And in these situations, there is no right or wrong choice to be made. Um, uh, and if we follow the career example, you know, um, I, I like to give such of, um, such of an example, two jobs, you know, one is well paid but it is a pain in the ass to work and the other is not that well paid, you know, but uh, it will be very enjoyable for your behalf. So it's against what you want to and what you have to. So it depends uh, entirely on your status here 
for example, if you are uh, if you have a family, of course you have to think for your family first. So you gotta go for what you have to get the more get the well paid job, you know. And um, even though it's gonna be a pain in the ass to work it, at least at the end you will have the means to feed your family. Or if you are a single person and the money from the first um, from from the job that you will enjoy are just enough, you know, to sustain yourself, then just feel free to go there. The, the point here with the lover's card as the root of the situation or why that insecurity arises is that you're going to stay in front of a, a decision to make and whatever you decide it will be right but also it will bear consequences that you have to kind of like cope with further into the future. Uh, for example, you know, you will be quite happy at your job but you may face poverty in your family if you're a family person or you may enjoy, uh, you may kind of like have a um, have a lot of money, you know, and sustain your family. But deep down within yourself, you will feel very oppressed at, at the new job that you're finding. So uh, every um, every decision, the decisions that you need to make here, they have their consequences and their benefits. Okay, and uh, you have to basically um, decide what is best not just only for you but for the entire harmony of your environment so the challenges that you need to face here uh, for the duration of the week that is going to be the seven of cups and this is a, a a challenging perspective or rather very inaccurate perspective that you may have which is kind of like understandable having the moon card that that seven of cups only consolidate the insecurity that you may have you know one day you may think great of a certain opportunity and the other day you may have a, a change of heart about it all that comes to me from these cards that you should not rush your decision here i mean that the lover's card as a root especially of the situation says that you can um, you can decide whenever you want to all right and it's just um, uh, if you rush it uh, there is a, a big chance for you to um, left yourself disappointed to make yourself disappointed excuse me but there is very positive uh, property here of the seven of cups saying that it is very unlikely that you may deviate from the right path that you have to walk and in that particular case the right parts Pots are a couple of them, all right? So, uh, as soon as you start deviating, that disappointment I just told you about is going to set you back on track. But is it really necessary to experience disappointment here? So, uh, what, how best person can cope with Seven of Cups? It is by being objective, you know. Just, just try to sober yourself up. Uh, try to sober yourself from the insecurity. Think of what is the worst that could possibly happen, you know. And as, as soon as you start thinking that way, you will see that in reality things aren't that bad as you think they are, right? Or things aren't as well that great as you think they are. They, they it could go both ways, and it is all about you making the best possible decision for the harmony of all not just for yourself but for the harmony of all that is the key here and the last card for you Sagittarius which describes the topic of uh, not the topic excuse me but the uh, the guidance is the seven of pentacles so in that particular case you have to go for the smart decision rather than the hard decision or uh, you need to go for what well, will present you with more material comforts rather than emotional comforts, all right? Uh, and that kind of makes sense here because the moon card is, is highly tied to your emotions. So you need, if you want to, uh, to overcome, you know, the insecurity faster, you rather focus first on the material stability that is around you. And as soon as the material stability takes place, you know, it is kind of uh, situated then your emotions slowly but steady will start to uh, resign and they will start to kind of like uh, you know calm them calm themselves down and your hectic wavering will um will start diminish uh bit by bit until there is nothing gone uh, there is nothing left of it so let's see now what the lenormand's card has to say for you now we do have the um the mountain then is the rider 
and afterwards that is going to be the anchor so a delayed information or a news uh, is gonna come to you or you're gonna hear about it that exerts um, hope and stability so uh, ultimately here as a cumulative uh, opinion of, my, of myself you know um, and uh, a cumulative opinion of mine regarding the reading is that um, this is going to be a an improvement it's just you're gonna find yourself hesitant to do it because it's kind of like uh, you know uh, it, it is very old you know you may think that it is outdated um, and uh, you may think that the time for it passed quite a while ago but it is worth it worth considering you know better better late than never you know it's it is never too late to make yourself happy it is never too late to make yourself harmonious with the uh, surroundings around you so that being said Sagittarius is this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for August 13 to August 19 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me Everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.